here, both the U.S. and Malaysia match and the China and Philippines match picked Amamichi. China and Philippines was decided by 4,500 points in favor of China. And the U.S. and Malaysia match was decided by 2,800 points in favor of Malaysia. Both songs, Amamichi. Yeah, like, this is the probably the accuracy battle, like, the closer accuracy battle that I see in the entire tournament so far. Like, less than 3,000 points of difference. It's just so little. And two double S's, one from Kaganyan, one from Ajinjin. Gekido having the strongest core in the United States though. Sadly, Blocker was a little bit behind in comparison to the others and that causes the win for Malaysia. And now, United States needs to come back here. And I think this was the United States pick, so they might have a chance in Unpleasant Sonata. Going for some speed up. Oh, yeah. it's Malaysia pick. I'm sorry. This has tiebreaker potential though, despite being 3-1 in favor of Malaysia. Oh yeah, this definitely has tiebreaker potential. Yeah, we saw a 3-1 turn into a 3-3 uh, three, three tiebreaker and the uh, underdog take it and win with France and Germany. That was uh, something to watch. Yeah, that was definitely a great match. Blocko off to a really, really rough start. Yeah. Yeah, this is really good stuff from, uh, from Malaysia though. 100%. Oh, a miss from a Hunter there. I don't think it'll matter too much though. I don't know. Blocko just had a really bad time at the beginning. And it was so harsh that the United States might not come back even with a miss from Hunter Pro. Yeah, I don't think that this from Hunter Pro is going to affect the score lead, but it will help the United States at least come back a little bit. Yeah, score gap's narrowing a little bit, only about 35,000 points. It was greater than that a little earlier on. Yeah, but oh, a miss from Kaganyan now in the Malaysian side might give a chance to come back to the United States. Kirling still holding really strong, like he did in all the maps previously. But I don't know if that's going to be enough. I think it will because the lead is not flickering. Malaysia is still holding the lead despite Jinjin and Gekido's full combos. Will the United States be able to come back here? It's not looking really good for them. Well, it's just to me when you look at Malaysia's accuracy, it's all like upper 99%. 99.9, 99 99.8, 99.5. Well, when you look at the United States, you've got 99.6. Oh, no, 99.5, 99.4, and 98.6. Yeah, we're entering right into the end. And yep, this is 4-1 in favor of Malaysia. I'm really 40... surprised. Well, it was a really big lead. I mean, 44,000 difference. That's the thing that surprised me the most, but definitely it was a match that it could go anyway. No, I was just surprised. Yeah. I thought, like, um, considering the fact how well the 4Key team did, I had high hopes for the United States team here, but it looks like Malaysia was just a little bit better. Yeah, the accuracy difference in Amamichi was definitely the key point of the match. So I guess we will switch now into the last match remaining in this block. It's going to be Philippines against China, which is actually 2-0 in favor of China. 
Yeah, I'll just quickly go over the bands in case people are actually interested. Uh, Philippines band out Reverence and China Dress. 